Hey everybody, I'm Casey from CaseyFriday.com and today I want to show you what I'm doing on the house. For those of you who are interested, I'm putting in porch lights. So if you're going to be building a house of your own, or maybe you are building a tiny house right now and you're kind of confused as to how you're going to do this, basically what I did is I purchased the boxes, the electrical boxes at Lowe's. They're circular and they come with these little diagrams that you can use. So what I did is I got my pencil and I punched a hole in the middle and punched a hole in each spot where it's got the uh, the dot right there. And I drew um, these three circles and that's exactly where you're gonna be drilling three holes in order to cut this with a jigsaw. Now I also went ahead and got my Swiss tool and got the um, Phillips screwdriver part of it. You can just use a regular Phillips screwdriver. I held that in place while I spun this around with the pencil in one of the holes so I could actually draw the circle and have something to follow with the jigsaw. So if you take a look at this side, I'm almost done with this side. It's kind of hard because this is a really tight space in here and my jigsaw is quite large compared to this. So it's really hard to kind of get the angles. You have to go from the bottom over and this sort of thing. The, the actual saw blade came out a couple times and uh, that made it a little bit rough. But I put it back in and you can see that I've cut out almost all of this hole right here. And from the inside of the house, this is convenient for me because this siding, I did not use any furring strips. I just butted it up right against uh, the plywood here. So it's just a half inch of plywood plus uh, 0.75 inches of siding, and that's less than an inch and a half total. And then the boxes that I'll be using are these. Now they have some like this that I've used that you can see you nail in to get the lights on the on new or called new work one gang boxes and the circular ones are for fixtures because you can see they've got two screw holes on each side so you can have multiple size fixtures it's the same as the light uh, fixture that I've put in the bathroom area but for this one um, I made sure that I got one that didn't have the nails because when it comes through here um, I wasn't quite sure that it would be far enough back to actually use the uh, the nail in um, part of the other boxes and I'm probably gonna have to put a header sort of piece of 2x4 across here or above this um, or maybe even just straight across behind where this is gonna come in so that I can push it through the hole and then screw it to the 2x4 that uh, goes vertically behind this box so in case you're interested this is how the porch lights will be going in and once I put these boxes in and screw them in then I'll go ahead and take the reflectix that I've taken out right here and put it back in here and then put the rest of the insulation back in this wall cavity. So that's how I'm installing the porch lights on the tiny house.